Hey guys, today we need to start on working on our compacted standards. So this is a seventh grade standard. We are working on multiplying with negative numbers. Let's try to make sense of this with our first example, letter A, two multiplied by negative seven. Now you already know that two multiplied by seven is equal to 14. Now let's think about what two multiplied by negative seven is equal to. One way to think about this is to say, well, I have two copies of negative seven. So if I have negative seven and negative seven, I have a total of 14 negatives. So two times negative seven is equal to negative 14. You could also think of it like this. Using the commutative property of multiplication, you can change the order of the factors. Factors are just part of a multiplication problem. So I switched the order and I put the negative seven in front and then the two. Another way to think of a negative is to just say the word opposite when you see a negative symbol. So we could say, what is the opposite of seven multiplied by two? Well, we already said that seven multiplied by two is 14. So the opposite of seven multiplied by two is going to be negative 14. So what I'm trying to tell you is that a positive number multiplied by a negative number is going to give you a negative number. Let's take a look at example B. Negative three multiplied by negative nine. First, let's break up negative three into two factors. Negative one multiplied by positive three. Now let's break up negative nine into two factors. Negative one multiplied by nine. Now let's use the commutative property of multiplication and let's put the negative one values in front. Instead of writing a negative one, you can actually just write that as a negative symbol. Oops, let me fix that. And then we could read this as the opposite of the opposite of three times nine. Well, we know that three times nine is 27. So the opposite of the opposite of 27, well, that would be positive 27. Think about it. The opposite of 27 is negative 27, and the opposite of a negative 27 is positive 27. So a negative three multiplied by a negative nine is equal to positive 27. Take a look at example C. Negative four multiplied by a negative two. Well, we just learned that a negative number multiplied by a negative number yields a positive number. So what happens when you have three numbers? Well, a negative four times a negative two is going to give us a positive eight. And then a positive eight multiplied by that positive 10 will give us a positive 80. Let's take a, a look at one more example, letter D. Let's say that we had a negative three multiplied by a negative 10, we would get 30. Then 30 multiplied by negative one gives us a negative 30. And then a negative 30 times a negative six is equal to negative 180. Now I know this isn't going to make complete sense right now. Right now I just want us to just learn the pattern and practice it. And then as we work on our integer rules, it's going to make more sense. So for now, what I want you to focus on is the fact that a positive multiplied by a negative is equal to a negative, and a negative number multiplied by a negative number is going to give you a positive number.